continuing along in this video series where I talk about the best books that I read from 2019, we are going to be talking about the Long Winter Trilogy. The books were written by A.G. Riddle, who is an author I discovered this year. Originally, I read his uh, Pandemic and his Genome Duology, I think it's called The Extinction Files. And because those were so awesome, I was looking forward to anything new that he might be publishing, and then I realized that he was working on a trilogy this year. All three books were released this year. The books are called Winter World, The Solar War, and The Lost Colony. And I've read a decent number of books from 2019, but these ones really take the kick for me. Right now, these are my favorite books from this year. When I'm thinking about a favorite book, it has to meet a certain type of criteria, like um, how interesting is the story? What are the themes? Uh, do I like the characters? How well do they relate to each other? And then there's also another factor, which is, am I able to put this book down and not think about it? I don't think it took me longer than 24 hours to finish any of the entries from this series. Starting right from the beginning of Winter World all the way to the end of The Last Colony, I just couldn't get enough. I couldn't put the book down. When I was forced to, for whatever reason, I just kept thinking about it. The premise of the Long Winter trilogy is this. Sometime in the semi-near future, Earth's climate begins shifting exponentially more towards another ice age, essentially. As the world keeps getting colder and colder and colder, certain parts of the world begin to freeze and everyone is forced to kind of like move towards places that are hot. So the deserts become the only inhabitable place. And no one is really sure why this is happening. It's not just a normal like climate change thing. This is too drastic to be a normal occurrence. So NASA sends a team to space to send out some probes to try to figure out what the heck is going on. One of our main characters, her name is Emma, is like the top notch uh, international space station, like top of her class, super killer astronaut lady. And she's in charge of this mission where they're going to be retrieving these probes and figuring out what's on the data. Long story short, and I don't consider this a spoiler because it's really part of a setup, uh, they find something in between Earth and the Sun is a fairly small device that looks like a UFO. They're not sure why it's there or how it could be causing the, the long winter, but they know when they try to scan and send the data back, the thing shoots the ISS and everybody dies except for Emma. She becomes stranded in space and the beginning part of the book is rescuing her and trying to get her back while also trying to analyze the data that she sent which contained the information on the UFO. Our other character is an Elon Musk type figure who's a genius who's been locked away in prison for doing something and we really don't know what happened for a really long time for doing something that he likes to keep secret that was considered too far for the world's governments. Like they thought he'd progressed too far into some form of technology and that was too scary and so they arrested him. Because he is one of the smartest people in the world, this international group who's come together to try to figure out what's going on with that UFO decides to uh, recruit him out of jail and he gets to be involved with his mission to ultimately find out what to do about these potential aliens. And from that setup, we are off to the races. The book is extremely fast paced. Like I said, I couldn't put it down. And you have this like post-apocalyptic ice story where everything is freezing over and Earth is becoming uninhabitable. And you also have this like almost like the Martian style or like uh, interstellar style story where you have this uh, group of like diverse various like smartest people in the entire world working in space on figuring out how to handle things from that end. And that's just kind of the setup for the first book. The series goes just insane from there with like what to do when they figure out what's going on and what the implications are for the uh, humans that are alive and kind of where the story goes from there. It's just absolutely insane with the third book, which just came out this week. Uh, it came out Tuesday. I finished it Tuesday. It elevates the crazy story to even crazier heights to where you are stuck just being like what in the world and you have to think about it and realize the implications from what is happening in the story and like how that translates into other parts of the story how there are parts of the beginning of the story that don't seem to fit together or don't seem to make a ton of sense but the third book brings them all together in a way that's just like seamless and awesome now, as far as the themes here go, it's not reaching for some huge literary or artistic thing. This is just a killer 
awesome science fiction story with space travel and a decent amount of science or at least pseudoscience that's convincing enough to be interesting for me. And it's like a slightly elevated like popcorn flick style book where it's not necessarily super deep. It's just entertaining as crap. I love all the characters involved and I'm so excited when the journey starts. Like I was texting my friend over and over just like, dude, I really think this book is awesome. I was, I was expecting to like it. I wasn't expecting to like it this much. And then by the time you get to the second book, dude, like I was in tears having my heart ripped out. There were some rough scenes in the second book, like some seriously, like some moments where like I had to read some of the most tragic things that I've read in a long time. And then I'm faced with a situation where I go, man, what would I do in this situation? If humanity were forced to do this, would I like, what do you do? Then in the third book, they're presented with a problem that's just not, not easily solvable. And the conclusion that they have for the story and how they actually end up uh, resolving that plot in the third book, like I said, it's just mind blowing and like, if you are into like science fiction or space travel or you liked like some of those movies that I mentioned before, I highly recommend this book. I really hope that more people will get exposed to this. I don't see very many people talking about this, not just on booktube, but like it doesn't seem to have a lot of widespread discussion about it. And I would really love for more people to talk about this book with because I freaking loved it. Like I said, I couldn't stop reading it and I was texting my friend over and over telling him how cool it was. I wanted to make sure to tell you guys about it also. If you don't really like science fiction stories, that's like the only way I wouldn't recommend this to you. Maybe if you've never tried a science fiction story, you can try this. There's a lot of interesting characters and a lot of cool like scientific or like I said, maybe pseudoscientific, I don't know, concepts that are really fun to follow and think about. This to my knowledge is the only set of five star reviews that I've given any books that have been released in 2019. I really try to save those five stars for very specific instances. And if I remember correctly, these are the only five stars I've given in 2019. And a large part of that is due to the gripping, enthralling nature of the plot and how it moves you forward and how it emotionally affected me so strongly with the highs and the lows and just the coolness of all of the science fiction, space, interstellar type things that were happening. Another plus, if you have Kindle Limited, the Kindle version of these are free. The audiobook versions, if you get the Kindle version, are also only like eight bucks. Like these are extremely affordable reads. I wish more people were talking about them. I really wanted to highlight those. If you happen to have that service, I definitely recommend you pick it up. I just can't recommend this enough. If you have read this book, please let me know what you think of it in the comments below. I haven't seen very many people talking about it. Last time I looked for the YouTube reviews, there was nothing talking about this book except someone who had done like a speech to text review. AG Riddle actually has a YouTube page that he just uses for like trailers for his books. I guess check that out. Like I said, I really loved his uh, Extinction Files duology. But once again, if you read these books, uh, please let me know your thoughts in the in the comments below. I would love to have a discussion with you about these books specifically. If this sounds interesting to you, let me know. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also hit subscribe if you want to see more of my reviews or book talk or whatnot. Thanks everybody for watching. I love you all. Bye.